Well, hello everybody, this is Nintendo Death Machine here. Yeah, it's the first time I said Nintendo Death Machine instead of saying NDM. Oh my god, oh my god, this is a big moment now. Okay. So, in the last episode, we um, got Princess Rudo down into the stomach of Lord Jabu Jabu. And basically, we are now heading off into, well, basically into a dark abyss of nothingness apart from water and whales. Tiny little whale fins, fishes, whatever the hell they are, I don't know. Alright, so what you want to do is just come down here and don't, whatever you do, do not press the switch. And just chuck her over to the other side, I've done that plenty of times before, accidentally pl pressing the switch. Because basically what happens if you press the switch is that you drown her and die horribly. Now these, oh god, my C buttons are messing me up again. Just do it gently, just don't do it roughly, that seems to work. Yeah, don't do it roughly, ha, huh? that's what she said. Don't do it rough to me, baby. Don't do it rough, don't do it rough to me, baby. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it rough to me. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Rough, 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 rough. Oh, okay, enough, Lewis, that's been a bit too much. Okay, there's some bubbles. Bubbles! Hey, let's play, let's play Bubble Bobble. No, let's not play some bubble bubble. Let's play some Ocarina of Time, right? <laughs> let's kill a skull skull till they're here. This is bugging me. Making that stupid noise. And like you're all cool because you're on the wall? Yeah, well, too bad. I just got you in my slingshot. You're not so cool now, are you? And my throat is ridiculously dry. I think after this video, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to get a drink out of the fridge and I'm going to take a big gulp of my Lucas Aid. And I'm going to be happy. And Lucas Aid is kind of like Gatorade, apparently. Um. If you're, well, watching this from, well, we do have Gatorade here, actually, <laughs> believe it or not. I, I've never tried it, though. I don't know what it tastes like, either. Apparently, it's like a juicy drink, but Lucasade isn't juicy. It's fizzy drink. It's like an energy drink. Like, I could, um, well, I was, nah, never mind. I was thinking of putting a picture of the picture of a Lucas A bottle in the video, but nah. Okay, right here you go. Yeah, oh, hey, we hit your tonsil. How do you like that? How do you like your tonsil being hit with Princess Ruto? I bet you feel so on Lord Jabby Jabby. Right, I believe there is. Oh God, I believe there is nothing down in that hole down there. So. I believe there isn't. If there is, then I'll be damned, because I don't think there is anything down there apart from pots. Like, there's no gold skull tiller down there, so you don't really need to worry about that little bit down there. In fact, I think all that's down there is like a Deku scrub, and he gives you like some crappy amount of Deku sticks. But you don't even need Deku sticks in this dungeon, so even if he did give you Deku sticks, that'd be pretty funny. <clears throat> And whatever you do, Princess Ruto, please don't poo on my head. That would be very nasty. And I'd have to chuck you off my head and then chuck you down one of those holes. Because you would have done something nasty on my head. And don't pee on me either, otherwise I'll have to... I don't know what I would do. I would scream in terror. Okay, be careful of these guys, because they are electric. And they will electrocute you. Yeah! Be, be aware of these guys and just run straight into them. Brilliant, Lewis. Bravo, bravo. Right. Now, you see these things? You can't get past these things because they're electric, too. So, just stay away from them. Pretty much everything in this whole room is electric. <laughs> Every enemy that you see or any odd thing that you see is pretty much electric. So, stay away from them. What you want to do is just leave her on the switch. Yeah, I hope you have fun. Play some Game Boy or something. Oh, God. I can't even do it. What the hell am I doing in this room? I can't even do anything in here. Why? Why? Why would you trick me? I thought this was the room where you could get the... Oh. Where you could get the weapon to actually kill these things. Obviously, I thought wrong. Yeah, don't smack me, dude. Otherwise, I'll have to burn you with a f big blowtorch or something. A giant blowtorch to blow you down. How inconsiderate. How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. No, you take responsibility. 
you take responsibility of looking after yourself because I have to take responsibility of looking after myself too so yeah I guess we're both even aren't we alright okay this is the one you want to come to yeah and she'll just tell you ah oh, bloody blah 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 it doesn't look like you can press down the iron wait a minute yeah we know Navi it's not necessary it's not necessary you don't need to tell us I already know and I've already done it as well so what the hell it's like j j trying to jump on the switch and it just wouldn't jump it's like gravity was pulling me down or something yeah, this is the room we want to be in. This is the room with all the whale things in here. Alright, so... If you got a big Deku Seed bullet bag like I have, then this room won't be much of a problem for you. But if you run out of Deku Seeds, you're going to have to go back out to the b beginning of the dungeon because one of those pots out there happen to have Deku Nuts in them. And they always do have Deku Nuts in them. So if you want to grind for Deku Nuts, you can't grind for them in here. You're gonna have to go out the dungeon. That's why it's pretty useful to actually have Feroz wind. But I don't know if it works if you leave the dungeon and then come back in. Whether they, whether it does, that'd be awesome if it did. Because then you could pretty much leave the dungeon, get whatever you want, and come back to where exactly where you was. And what is this? It's a chest. If you know what I mean by that. Well, actually, I haven't showed you guys Feral's Wind, or Din's Fire, for that matter. <laughs> and what do you know? Here's the boomerang, the weapon we've been lusting for for ages. And the one that I've been mentioning quite often with those gold sculptures. But anyway, this is the boomerang, and this is what you need to get those ones that are really high up on the walls. There's also one in the graveyard we've missed as well, so we're going to have to go back to the graveyard and actually go ahead and pick some up. Oh my god, we actually have 20? We have 20 gold. Oh man, that is awesome. So now we have 20 gold skulls. So I know where we'll be heading after we've done this dungeon then. Making our way back to Kakariko Village. Good thing is we can't tell. Well, the bad thing is we can't teleport, but that's no problem. Because Kakariko Village isn't really that far away from Zora's River. Just don't go to the Lake Hylia way. Even though we will be going to Lake Hylia. Because we got to, to get some stuff from there. Like the Scarecrow song, because I want to get that out of the way, and I also want to get some gold skull to this there and place that magic beam that I couldn't place because the emulator was being so ridiculously glitchy. Damn, my mouth is dry, very dry. I've been talking too much. I really need to stop talking. I think, yeah, I've been talking way too much here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break for a bit. Um, yeah. How long you, yeah, I know. Oh god, we got jelly. Damn. Electrocute me. Fine, be that way. Be that way. Because <clears throat> my ear's starting to hurt as well. Ugh, that's starting to be a pain. That's because I've been listening to music as well. I've been listening to music on my iPod. So that's probably why my ears hurting is. In fact, that is the reason why, because the how the the volume I actually have on that thing is ridiculous. Okay, right, because I like my music loud. All right, get this thing down. Basically, just use your boomerang. Not these guys are ridiculously easy to kill. So. And then they just turn into sludge. There's our magical appearing chest, which will give us, I believe, the dungeon map. I hope so. It could be a bomb. Nah, it's dungeon map. <laughs> I mean, what kind of mad person would leave a ch bomb in a chest? Like, was he planning to do something with that chest? Like, to trick people with it? <laughs> Maybe he set it off, I don't know. There's our dungeon map. Dungeon map. Go to dungeon map. Yep. And there you are waiting for me. Yeah, how inconsiderate. We know. How very inconsiderate of us. We're bad people. 
the red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones too? Well, I'm pretty sure it will if it worked with the first one. And what do you know, it's a room for the bubbles. Get rid of these as fast as you can by using your boomerang. There's no there's no messing around here, I can tell you that now, because you don't get a very long time to do this. You gotta be very quick with your targeting. And my C buttons better not mess me up here because I really don't want that to happen. This seems to be going okay. Ah, uh, that wasn't so bad. Look at those Deku nut sacks right next to the chest. And there you go. There's the compass. And this is going to be the first dungeon. We can actually get all the gold sculptures in, I believe. So that's going to be pretty cool. We won't have to be coming back here again. But we will be making a trip back to... Uh... To... Kokori Forest at some point before we actually turn into Adult Link or head off to the Temple of Time because I got some stuff I really want to do before I go progress on in the main quest so just to get all that out of the way and get that off my mind because most of that stuff you got to do as a kid especially that gold sculptor in the Deku Tree and I want to do the bomb shoe mini game and get the heart container from that. So we've got a lot of stuff to actually be getting on with before we progress onwards. But that's no problem. I, I enjoy doing that kind of stuff anyway. So like going back and revisiting, backtracking. I have no problem with backtracking. Because it's kind of cool coming back to getting stuff. To getting stuff that you've missed or that you've had to come back for to get it makes it feel it makes the game feel a lot more complete that way and it feels kind of nice too I get rid of these jellyfish so they don't become much of a problem well they aren't really much of a problem they're weak as hell they're weak as hell oh I feel so sorry for you jellyfish I really do and I'm not going to be able to do anything with a deku stick yeah have a taste of my deku stick how do you like wood up your ass? And there's the green one. Now, if you didn't see in the room where we found Princess Ruto, there was a mysteriously looking green tentacle in there. Now, what now? I guess you can imagine what the green tentacle has done for us. Yes, it has opened the hole for us down below. So we'll go ahead down there and see what's down here. It must take us to a new area of the dungeon. Which it does! Yeah, we're on the other side. As you can see, we were down there before. And the other holes just pretty much take you down to these jellyfish. Which wouldn't be much fun, I can tell you that now. <laughs> I'm not going to bother going down that door until I come back, like, round again, because you will be coming back round. Because the boss room is on the first floor right there and as you can see you'll be coming up through one of those floors and basically what it does is it takes you back to the entrance room and then you can go back through there again so what we'll be doing is going up through there making our way round and going back so and then we'll go through that door and on the way back so <clears throat> I don't think there's anything in there anyway apart from a fairy but it's always nice to have a fairy with you just in case <laughs> So I'll pick up a fairy. You destroyed a gold skull, hello, you got a token proof, you destroyed it. Yes we did, yeah, I feel so manly now. And I got a boomerang and I can catch all these gold skull tellers. I don't think you can come back, no you can't come back here as Adult Link. So better make sure you get all these before you head off going into Adult Link. Because, yeah. Well guys, I think I might as well end the video here because in the next episode we'll be fighting a boss battle. Well, not necessarily, not the boss, but a boss battle. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> that was a weird goodbye.